49. I have been understood. At the opening of the Bible there is the whole psychology of the priest. The priest knows of only one great danger, that is, science, the sound comprehension of cause and effect. But science flourishes, on the whole only under favorable conditions. A man must have time, he must have an overflowing intellect in order to know, therefore man must be made unhappy. This has been, in all ages, the logic of the priest. It is easy to see just what, by this logic, was the first thing to come into the world. Sin. The concept of guilt and punishment, the whole moral order of the world was set up against science, against the deliverance of man from priests. Man must not look outward, he must look inward. He must not look at things shrewdly and cautiously to learn about them. He must not look at all. He must suffer, and he must suffer so much that he is always in need of the priest. Away with physicians. What is needed is a savior. The concept of guilt and punishment, including the doctrines of grace, of salvation, of forgiveness, lies through and through, and absolutely without psychological reality, were devised to destroy man's sense of causality. They are an attack upon the concept of cause and effect and not an attack with the fist, with the knife, with honesty and hate and love. On the contrary, one inspired by the most cowardly, the most crafty, the most ignoble of instincts. An attack of priests, an attack of parasites, the vampirism of pale subterranean leeches. When the natural consequences of an act are no longer natural, but are regarded as produced by the ghostly creations of superstition, by God, by spirits, by souls, and reckoned as merely moral consequences, as rewards, as punishments, as hints, as lessons, then the whole groundwork of knowledge is destroyed. Then the greatest of crimes against humanity has been perpetrated. I repeat that sin, man's self-desecration par excellence, was invented in order to make science, culture, and every elevation and ennobling of man impossible. The priest rules through the invention of sin.